how to choose right rating inverter and right powered battery for backup power supply during main power failure for your home. Hello friends, I am Pushkar Prasar. In this video, I am going to show you the method to choose right rating inverter and right power battery for your home requirements because before buy inverter, we usually ask for our neighbors, but we don't calculate the power requirement of our home and that's why we choose wrong inverter and wrong powered battery and that's why they didn't last for a long time. By the way, if you don't know what is inverter, so inverter is the electrical equipment which converts direct current into alternating current DC to AC. In the simple language, it converts the battery current into the current which supplies in our home to run basic electrical equipment during main power failure. Recently, I set up an inverter in my home for backup power supply during main power failure and I had done some calculation to choose right inverter and right battery. Similarly, you can also calculate to choose right inverter and battery. I will give the brief tour of my inverter setup in the last of the video. If you watch the video till the end, you can definitely know how to choose right inverter and right battery for your home. So let's start. To find right inverter and battery, you have to mind three steps. First is to calculate your home power requirement. Second is to find right VA rating inverter. And third is to find right power battery for your inverter. So let's start with the first step in which we have to calculate the power requirement. Basically, the power requirement is the addition of power consumptions by all electrical equipment. So for now, as we are calculating for inverter, so we add power consumptions by all electrical equipment which we want to run during the power failure. And power requirement is always represented in Watt. So in my case, I want to run six LED bulb six fan and one television so one led bulb consumes nine watt of power so the total six led bulb consume 54 watt as well as one fan consumes 70 watt of power so six fan consume 420 watt of power and one television consumes 120 watt of power so in my case my total power requirement is 594 watt 54 watt plus 420 watt for fan and plus 120 watt for television so the total power requirement in my case is 594 watt. So let's start with the second step in which we have to find the right VA rating inverter. To find right VA rating inverter, we have a formula which is VA rating of inverter is equals to power requirement divided by power factor. So power requirement we calculated in first step and for power factor we have to divide the efficiency of inverter divided by 100. So in market, you get the inverter which has efficiency range of 60 to 80 percent. Because 100 percent efficiency is not possible, it is an ideal case. So I consider the efficiency of my inverter is 70 percent. So the power factor for efficiency is 70 percent divided by 100. So in my case, power factor is 0 0.7. You can also calculate power factor for yourself by considering efficiency of your inverter. So the power factor is 0 0.7. So the VA rating of the inverter is power requirement which is 594 divided by power factor which is 0 0.7. So the value is 848.5. So we find VA rating or voltage ampere rating for our inverter is 848.5. In market you can easily get 800, 900 and 1100 VA rating inverter. So I choose 900 VA rating inverter as per my result. You can choose as per your result. So now let's start with the third step in which we have to find the right powered battery for our inverter. The power of battery is also known as battery capacity which is represented in ampere hour denoted by AH. So to, f to find battery capacity we have a formula which is power requirement multiplied by backup hour divided by battery voltage. So we calculate power requirement in first step. For backup power we have to consider the time which we want our battery give backup during power failure. 
you can consider it one hour two hour three hour or four hour in my case i consider backup hour as three hour battery backup and for battery voltage this is always constant to 12 volt so now put all these values in the formula which is battery capacity is equals to power requirement which is 594 watt which we get in first step multiplied by backup hour which i considered three hour divided by battery voltage which is 12 volt calculating these all we get the value 148.5 148.5 ampere hour which is the battery capacity so i can easily go with the 150 ampere hour battery but i prefer to go little higher capacity battery so i choose 165 ampere hour battery so this is the microtech eb900 eb900 the inverter which i am using now and uh, this EB900 is the model number of this inverter. Here 900 represents the VA rating of this inverter. This inverter also shows lots of indication like mains on, UPS on, charging, overload, battery low and CB trip. This is the power on off button of this inverter. And also I am using Amron battery which is a 165 ampere hour battery. You can locate 165 ampere hour in the model number of this battery here 165 represents the ampere hour of this battery by the way i am not promoting any brand you can free to choose any brand inverter and battery but don't forget to calculate before you buy new inverter or battery comment down below your inverter experience you can also share which brand inverter and battery which powered inverter and battery do you use if any topic you want me to cover then do let me know in the comment box below. If you watch the video till here then don't forget to give this video a like and share if anyone required this video. To watch this video in Hindi version uh, check out the link in the description below. To watch more stay subscribed to my channel and press the red subscribe button below of this video and you also press the bell icon for updates. और अगर यहाँ तक देख लिए हैं तो आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा भी लगा है, इनफॉरमेटिव भी लगा है। तो लाइक किए भी ना मत जाइएगा और सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा क्योंकि लाइक करना और सब्सक्राइब करना दोनों फ्री है। थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग, बाय बाय।